When I sit down to watch an anime, I typically like to find something which challenges me in some way. As a consumer of all kinds of media, the best forms of entertainment are usually the ones which have a good balance of entertainment, but as well stories which challenges the hearts and minds of the viewer watching. This is where you probably will say, well, not every story needs to be like Berserk or Ping Pong the Animation. Just enjoy it for what it is. And you are indeed right. We should enjoy things that we like. But that is simply an insult to not go any further than that. And it's an insult to the medium of anime to even suggest that Rena Girlfriend should deserve that distinction. Rena Girlfriend is trash garbage that we throw into a dumpster fire. But the smell permeates throughout the city. So we decide to throw the dumpster into a volcano, but that ends up poisoning the earth. And then that one gif of Kana Kobayashi eating earth plays and everyone is saved. Yes, my friends, that was hyperbole. It isn't that bad. It's just a generic rom-com. But seriously, Runa Girlfriend though is really bad, like, like really, really bad and forgettable too. So let's discuss kind of all of the bad and like maybe a handful of minor good things that it does. This is Runa Girlfriend. We first have to address something. Yes, this anime seems to have a fandom which hates the series, but there is a twist to this. They aren't mad at the series, they like it because it is bad. The idea is similar to So Bad It's Good, but like every other anime I've covered that has a fan base like this, I'll always say that this is not a good reason to like an anime or to defend an anime from said criticism. I've always said we should expect more from the things that we consume. We should not be content with being spoon-fed stories like this. Instead, we should be actively engaging with the content that we love. In a weird way, this is the interaction with Rena Girlfriend, but it's not a healthy relationship or any with any substance. Why? Because the engagement around this series is simply one of two things. One, which anime you girl you like the most, aka the Toxic Waifu Wars, or two, this anime may be trash, but so am I, and I love it. I have not once ever seen someone talk about anything in the show that's good. Not once. Even things that I myself notice that are good, like the solid character designs as an example, they're just never mentioned. Now why is that? Well, it's simple. There's no story to talk about. There is no character development, and there sure as hell is nothing memorable about this because of it. Let's take for example the point of the show. What is the show about? Now, Really think about this. What is the point of this show? Also, along with that, what are Kazuya's main traits? His strengths, weaknesses, how it relates to the other character's strengths and weaknesses, and his main goal in the series? If you can answer these questions, you've literally done the impossible. Because I'll let you know right now, these questions will take a lot of stretching to answer if you just for some reason have to answer these questions. I'll give you a rundown. So what is the point of the show? Well, to focus on the rental girlfriend business, a real life business where men and women essentially buy other women's time so that they can be their girlfriend for an afternoon. This aspect is in my subjective opinion, the best aspect of rent a girlfriend. This is essentially the point of the show in a nutshell to tell you about this business, which is gaining a lot of popularity. Pretty easy, except it's not because they never really focus on it. But anyways, let's focus our attention on our main character, Kazu. What are Kazuya's main character traits? Well, he's lonely. He's a creep. He, um, he, uh, oh no, I got this one. Well, I don't because that's really his personality in a nutshell. His strengths? Well, I'm not sure. Being unable to control his sexual urges is a strength, so... Uh, but he does jump into the river to save Chizuru that one time, uh, though as we'll discuss later. Well, let's just discuss it now. That's a dumb scene. And finally, his main goal in this series. The thing your character is fighting for, which is nothing. Kazuya has no goals in this series because having a goal in this series would mean this series would have to try to tell a story. Because anime like this aren't aren't meant to engage you, make you think, or make you long for a conclusion. Run a Girlfriend is about roping you into a circle that just keeps going round and round and round and round and round until you get dizzy and you pass out and have a brain aneurysm, forever looping with no advancement of the plot or any character progression to speak of. For example, the last episode where Kazuya confesses to Chizuru, tells her that he wants her to be her only. A great moment, then the credits roll with a montage of all the moments Kazuya and Chizuru had together in season one up until this point, proudly playing the Peggy song, which we, we all love now for reasons, I guess. Then the after credits roll and JK bro, I'm sorry, Chizuru, uh, what I meant to say was I want you to be my rental girlfriend. I don't actually want you to be my girlfriend. Pfft, what was I saying? Silly me. The moment where for once progression could have happened? Oh, 
no, we don't need that. Instead, we went back to the same old thing from the previous 11 episodes. To make matters worse, at the beginning of the episode, it seemed like Kazuya was going to confess to Ruka, which is why? Though this brings up another point entirely. Why does Kazuya like Chizuru? And an extension of that, why does Kazuya like any of these women? Why does he fake confess to Chizuru in the end, and moments before in that same episode, almost confess to Ruka? We were shown in 12 whole episodes, no progression between any of them. Kazuya's relationship with Chizuru is basically that he's a loner creep who pervs on Chizuru, and the only reason Chizuru goes along with it is because she wants the money and wants to be an actor, not even sure how that relates to her motivations, and somehow seems to like him? But we're never given any good reasons as to why they even like each other. Same with Ruka, which in her case, it seems like something forced. What? My opinion is that you're just not supposed to think about it. You're supposed to take it as granted that the person that is typically watching this isn't even invested. They're actually more probably invested in the promise of this show, or rather simply just the conversation around the show than the show itself. This pretty much means the anime treats its viewers kind of like idiots and insults them basically with every episode because literally nothing happens in this damn show. Nothing! You're just supposed to like these girls because they're hot or cute or whatever phrase you want to use there, or show a little bit of fan service. Remember that time when Ruka grabbed Chizuru's boob? Wh why? Why did that happen? And it was never even explained. And why is that? Because they probably wanted you to clip that part of the out of the episode and share it on internet forums or just not even think about it entirely. They just wanted to see a boob grab. The creators of this series Simply assume everyone is watching this and taking everything for granted. Never once does there ever feel like a moment where this is in a series of an actual ounce of originality or anything even remotely near a genuine moment. It feels like everything exists because they want it to exist so that you will buy the manga and argue about your favorite girl on the internet. Feels more like one giant marketing ploy to get some suits a payday rather than someone taking a vision they had and putting an incredible amount of hard work into it to create a a work of art which people will enjoy and they'll proudly think of from for, for a very long time. This anime just seems as transparent and shallow as the anime's title implies it to be, which is a shame because really they never explored what this whole business of Rena Girlfriend was actually like. And that's the mark of a failed piece of art, when the topic of your series is completely ignored and never developed beyond, hey look, I can date these hot girls. I for one would have loved to explore this business to see how these ladies actually do their job and the effects they have on others, or themselves. Not only that, but how does the clientele react and their motivations for hiring them? Is it a lonely man who just wants to get practice going on dates because he finally asked out a girl at his work? Is someone trying to get over their social anxieties towards women? Is it a a businessman going out on a work date and needs someone with them to look good for their boss. Nah. Instead, we get this guy Kazuya, who for literally 10 seconds, probably over 10 seconds, we just focus on him masturbating in his room and creeping on every woman he sees during the whole show. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's what's, that's true art right there. And it really only gets more insulting because this anime seems to think that being with a beautiful girl is something everyone would kill for. That if you could just get a hot girlfriend, that every single bad thing in your life would be solved. The reality is far from fantasy. Because like most people who realize this pretty early on in their lives, looks do not mean everything. In fact, they really don't mean anything. Maybe in th maybe in this obviously fictionalized version of Rena Girlfriend it may, but in the real world? Thinking shallow like that will only only lead to a future where you'll just be kicking yourself for being so shallow in the first place. Sure, in your fantasy you may want that, but that is the thing. It is all fantasy, and fantasy is not reality. And just like any good fantasy, rent a girlfriend is a fantastic fantasy. Because much like the show's quality of writing, the quality part just doesn't exist. But I am quite done talking about this series. I watched all 12 episodes of this show and I came away with nothing from this show other than a handful of complaints and criticisms, which is just, that's just never a good thing. And before I get the comments like, ah, it's just a show, or if you don't like it, don't complain about it. Try to think with a more open mind. As a consumer of anything, we should expect better from the shows and stories that we consume. We shouldn't be complaining place it and just accept what's given to us. You can easily enjoy Run a Girlfriend, but you can also easily enjoy and criticize the art at the same time, because the only difference between me and you could be simply that I just didn't enjoy the show. 
that's it. It's not all mutually exclusive. So when a show you like does something stupid, just criticize it. Don't just blindly accept it and defend it until your death. You are a human being. You're not a shareholder or a marketing arm for some faceless entity. Be independent. Have freedom of thought. And if you enjoy the show, then enjoy it, but don't compromise your own integrity to enjoy it. So with that being said, what did you guys think about Rent a Girlfriend? You sure know what I think about it. I want to hear your thoughts in the comments below. As well, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe and ring the bell. Give this video a like. And I have a Patreon where on the $1 tier and above, you get access to everything. I got some Teespring. You can buy some shirts there. And you can become a channel member and support me there. It's all really cheap alternative ways to support me. And I appreciate any support I get. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.